So we got the chart of accounts, enable account numbers. Now account numbers can be great, but people often mess them up because they don't know how to add account numbers in a, in a way that makes sense. So they get all tied up with account numbers. So, so by default, they turn the account numbers off, which is what we're gonna do here. I think we're gonna have a section that just shows you the general items of account numbers. We possibly have that or a course on that. So if you wanna learn the account numbers, you can, but by default, we're gonna be putting them off uh, here. And the thing with account numbers, they give you a little bit more control about the orderings of your accounts and, the, and less flipping of accounts, changing the order uh, year over year because it's gonna, uh, and, and whatnot, because as, as, the, as you add accounts and whatnot. Uh, so, so, but if you don't add the account numbers properly, the account numbers will actually be not making sense. They'll be out of order in essence because the, the chart of accounts is first in order by account type, balance sheet accounts, then income statement accounts. The account numbers need to line up with that and that's how they have to be added. So we'll talk more, I think we have a section on that and it says uh, tips, uh, tips account and then billable expense ac account. So this account uh, that, that goes with the settings, expense, bills, expense, track billable expenses and items as income in a single account. So we're gonna keep that off by the default here. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, next one. We're gonna say categories. And just, let me just recap this again. If you, that tips we saw setting before, this is the account that goes with the setting sales form uh, contact. So if you set that up, then you need the account that's gonna basically be set up with it here. And that's what they're basically saying.